Hello there and welcome to GCSE Science. Uh, we're covering physics, big energy issues. Um, look, in this particular task on big energy issues, uh, we'll be looking at how uh, best to use electricity supplies to meet demands in different times of the year and how economic costs of different energy resources are compared along with which energy resources need to be developed to meet people's energy needs in the future. Um, the demand for electricity varies during each day. So it is also higher in winter than in the summer. Now winter being quite cold, we tend to put on more of our heaters. It gets dark around about 4 or 5 p.m. in the UK, which means that we'll have to turn on our lights so much earlier. So we tend to use much more electricity in the winter than we do maybe in the summer. Um, during the day, we also have peak times and off peak times. So peak times could be any time between seven and nine in the morning when people are getting ready for work and when children are getting ready to go to school. And then again, obviously in the evenings after school and after work for a lot of people. So uh, energy also varies and our energy um, demand varies throughout the day, throughout the year as well. Now, electricity generators need to match these particular demands to make sure that we have a constant supply of electricity and gas. So power, to, power stations can't just start up within, with, a, with a flick of a switch. Uh, the startup time depends on the type of power station but sometimes the power stations could take between hours and days to even switch on, which means that the authorities have to make sure that the power stations are switched on all times just to make sure uh, we don't have a shortage of electricity. So renewable energy resources are fantastic, but at the same time, they are also unreliable in ways. The amount of electricity they generate depends on the conditions. So for example, if you look at this particular table here, um, the reliability problems with the renewable energy resources, so hydroelectric power. So in other words, uh, the power that we get through uh, water uh, coming down a hill, for example, or a mountain um, through gravitational potential energy, um, hydroelectric power upland reservoir could run dry. So the reservoir, in other words, the, the pool of water that actually creates the hydroelectricity. So the water uh, comes down the hill or the mountain and it crashes into the ground, turning turbines, which kind of produces electricity for us. So the reservoir itself, the water itself could run dry because that could be because of lack of rainfall maybe and drought possibly. Wind and wave power. So wind and waves are sometimes too weak on very calm days. So if there's not much wind, then the waves will be quite weak. And at the same time, generally speaking, the turbines, the wind turbines will not move as much. Tidal, height of tide varies both on a monthly and a yearly cycle. So sometimes it's unreliable. And solar power, no solar energy at night, which means that we have to rely on solar energy during the day. And as you know, in the UK, it's fairly unreliable in the sense whereby we have some very nice hot sunny days and some very bleak, cloudy and gray days. So the variable demand for electricity is met by, so the, uh, met by other uh, types of power generation, such as using nuclear and coal-fired power stations provide a constant supply of electricity. Um, we can also use gas-fired power station and pump storage schemes to meet daily variations in demand and extra demand, especially in the winter when renewable energy may not be on a high and demand is high at the same time. Using renewable energy resources when demand is high and when the conditions for renewable energy generations are suitable, for example, the use of wind turbines in winter and when wind speeds are high enough. Using renewable energy resources when demand is low to store energy is pumped through storage schemes. So energy which is generated through coal, uh, nuclear and gas can be stored uh, on those particular days when renewable energy is on a low and then we can use that surplus energy that we've stored up on the side as well, okay? So if you look at this particular diagram on the right-hand side, this shows us the startup times of different types of power stations. So um, the shortest startup time is for a gas-fired power station. 
and the longest startup time is for a nuclear power station and also a coal-fired power station as well. Okay, so these are just some of the reasons that uh, uh, why reliability there are reliability issues, especially with renewable energy, and uh, what we have as a backup system. Okay, so good luck with the rest of the questions here. There are twelve questions in total, and we'll review these in our next class. Take care.